Hello guys, welcome to Roshi Apps YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to create your own food delivery application in with the help of Thunkable. In last part of our video, we have shown about uh, the food delivery app that we are going to create from this video. Okay? So let's see how to create this app. So and don't forget to subscribe to Rishi Apps YouTube channel and click the bell icon. If you like this video, means don't forget to subscribe to Rishi Apps YouTube channel as well as click the bell icon and click the uh, like button. Okay. So let's go inside the app.funkable.com and let's click this create new app. Okay. So because of that, we get uh, I can get one this a uh, pop-up box, right? So here I'm going to enter our uh, app name as a uh, food app. Food app. Okay, this is our app name. So then our app's category is going to be food and drink. So because food app is going to come under the food and drink, so that I can create the app. Okay, some process. Okay, then. Yes, yes this is our app building screen, right? So first of all, we are going to create one screen named uh, Screen Flash. Flash. So, uh, screen flash is nothing uh, but the flash screen, right? Where we can see our app's name, map icon, so that I can keep our app uh, label here. So, because of that, I can uh, add some text inside this label. So, the text is going to be food app. If food app is going to be the title of our application. And if you want means you can get some uh, images from Google for the food delivery app. Okay? So food icons. If I can search for Google. If you want to uh, images means so instead of the icons, I can add a search for icon. Because of that, I can get uh, some only one image. So now I'm going to get this uh, image right. So then I'm going to right click this, open a new tab. So let's see, it's the right only. Also, it's starting with uh, HTTPS. So uh, it's not a big thing. So let's click the save as. So then, yes, I'm going to save as a PNG image in the download section. Yes, I'm going to save it. It's downloading. And yes, I can see this image. So now I'm going to upload this image. Before that, I'm going to add one component name image. You can find it on the image section as you as you will you can see that uh, component in our last video somewhere. So if you want to know more about this image component, means you can see our previous videos that I published related to the Thunkable applications. So in this image, I'm going to upload that app icon. So instead of that, I'm going to copy this URL. So let's go to this picture and I'm going to paste it here. So let's see, we can see one icon, right? So this title is going to be S Food App only. Then this one text is going to be 25. And I'm going to add another one label here before putting this icon under title of our app. So this uh, this label's color is going to be white color. Okay. So because of that, we can see one a small space between the icon and the app name, right? So this is the use. So let's go to a new tab. Then this is uh, this screen is known as the ID is going to be sign sign in option is going to be the screen type. Okay, sign in option is going to be the screen ID, and we are going to design this uh, screen. So let's add one row here. So after this row, not inside this row, after this row, I'm going to add one list viewer. Okay. Then inside this row, I'm going to add that or uh, add one image component. So inside the image is going to be that our apps icon, right? So let's can paste it here, not this row. And I want to copy this again and I'm going to paste it on the picture. And the uh, height is going to be 50 and the width is going to be 50 s. Yes. Then what I'm going to do next means so then it's we can add another one label here into this row. 
So after this image to write this app icon, so the text is going to be uh, our food app. Okay, so I'm not food app. This is food app. Food app. So let's. We can see this uh, in the left side, right? For that, I can go to the horizontal and then left. Okay, and the height is going to be the fit content. Okay. Then the list uh, in the list viewer, we are going to have two items like uh, sign in has customer, customer sign in as customer, add it, and then sign in as sign in as delivery people delivery people delivery people so let's add this also so because of that we can see the two items in the add list okay so let i can see the output here sign in as customer and sign in as delivery people okay let's go to let's add another one uh in your screen here so this screen name is going to be uh sorry not yes screen name okay. screen name is going to be screen sign in okay screen sign in screen sign in yes so here we are going to uh, add some designs for the sign in options okay so for that i'm going to add the one row here and we are going to add one column after this row okay so this column yes into this row what i'm going to do means uh, i'm going to add our apps icon under sorry not icon icon under apps name so for that i'm going to follow the same procedure that you have followed in the previous screen also so that i can paste that website. so that i can go to the top side copy this url paste it inside here so height is 40 and 50 yes then what i'm going to do next means now i'm going to add one label as as you know about this so this app name is food app food app yes then our height is going to be fit content so this column is going to have a Text inputs like uh, it is going to be username, username, and we will add another one text input. So let's check with whatever the text inputs we are having on that lateral app, right? So let's check that by testing that our lateral application. We are having the flash screen. Yes, account, sign up. Yes, customer. yes, we can see the username. Okay, let's follow this itself. Username or my hotel address, right? So let's keep our hint to the text input to is home or hotel address. Hotel address, home or hotel address, and another one text input. So it is in text input three, right? So which is going to be phone number. So it is going to be phone versus phone number. It's phone number, and the uh, keyboard type is going to be numeric. Okay, because of we can need to enter the phone number only right so anyway so then i want to add another one text input here so with some hint we are having email address okay so email address phone number email address and we are going to add another one text input after this text input four so we are having one uh, password right so let's enter password for this uh, as an int okay so then i'm going to add one button here two buttons okay so one button is going to be have a text of sign in 
the pink salmon it is going to be in the green color okay and uh, width is going to be absolute size and width is going to be 200 and the buttons iron button is for sign up okay Yes. Sign up. Okay, it is going to be in the blue color itself. And the width is another this way, which is width of the sign up button is going to be 200. Yes, and the call ones. Oh uh, yes, okay, once vertical alignment is going to be the space around. Okay, because of that we can uh, get some spaces between each component. Okay. Then what we are going to do next means we are going to design another one screen. So which is for loading because if you uh, sign, we can save on loading uh, screen. So for that one we are using this. Better we can give us signing in. Signing in. Yes. We may also call it like that. So let's uh, keep this screen signing in vertical element in center and yes, both in center. So let I can add one image. Okay, I can add one image. So it will come inside the center of the screen. So then what I'm going to do next means that I can go to Google and you can search for the loading icon GIF. Okay, so where you can get the GIF file, so I can get this image, right? Yes, it's working. It's extra good, but better than this, I can get some other images for loading again. Okay, so which, yes, this will be good, I think so. This will happen. Let's wait and see. Oh, I think it's PNG image. I think this will work. So this also not working well, I don't know. So let's see any other images. Okay, this animated image. Yes, this is also a nice one. So now I'm going to click this right click button. So let's click the save as. And I'm going to save it. So in my download section, and I'm going to save it. So I may also open a new tab, okay? Instead of uh, uh, downloading, you may also open a new tab and copy this URL as we done in for our apps icon, right? So let's paste inside this. Uh, picture and uh, this uh, this is like with a small right so let I can increase the weight as 200 yes and I can live test and see so how the out is output is going to be yes this is going to be the output it's really good right so then next I can create one another one new screen so for the menu screen is for not for we can't introduce uh, to the name as screen because we are going to we are going to show this screen name to the user okay so we are going to use the name explore explore we can explore the food around the app application so instead of uh, explore I can add one group so row. So after that row, I'm going to call the data viewer list, or I mean get the grid. Okay, grid will be looking good or uh, better than the list. So I'm going to set this row. Instead of this row, I'm going to keep. Uh, I'm going to add an image here. Okay. Into this uh, row, I'm going to paste the our apps icon. Okay, so it's our apps icon. Yes. I'm gonna copy this and I'm going to paste it inside this image. 
So I'm going to see this height and this is going to be 50 50 and the label is going to be our app's name right because so our app name is going to be food app right food app yes all is going to be in the left side of the row so horizontally left yes and the height is going to be fit content so and the design for this uh this data of your grid is going to be so let's create the layout yes we are going to set the food image title and the uh, price of the food so we, i have selected image title and subtitle so then what i'm going to do next is let we can add another one screen which is known as account because of that you can see the account right yes because I, why I'm using the name account centuries, this also can be seen by the user. Okay. So because of that when I'm using this, then what I'm going to do next is that I can add and call it here. Yes, I have added the call successfully. And then instead of call, I'm going to do some design. So uh, if you want to or uh, like this of our app, means we are going to display our username. Uh, home or hotel address, uh, phone number, email address. That means I need to display four things, okay? Because we can't able to display the password simply before the user. So only I, I have I not included this uh, password. So one, two, three, four. Only I need to uh, include this four items. So for that I can add four labels inside this column. So I can duplicate again and again. Duplicate it. One, two. Three and I can duplicate again four. Okay, so first level is going to be username. Name, okay, so username. And the second level is going to be Omar Hotel address, right? Yes, Omar Hotel address. Omar Hotel address. Address. And the third level is going to be phone number. And fourth level is going to be email address. Email address. Yes. Then what I'm going to do next means I'm going to add another one button after this level nine, which is the email address label, right? So that button text is going to be sign out. Sign out and the background color is going to be a red color and absolute size of this width is going to be 200 because 200 is going to be very good and uh, this column wants so column two's uh, vertical alignment is going to be spaced around so if you keep this space between means so it will uh, it will touch this top right and the sign out will touch the very very bottom so it's not looking good so only I keep him always as space arm. So let's see next uh designing part the next screen. Okay. Yes, next screen is going to be so view screen. View screen. So we are passing this video and we are going to see this video in our next part of our video. And because time is up and till this video we have designed our app to account till the account screen one so if you want to see the designing for design part of the view screen uh, and more than view screen means please don't forget to subscribe to rishi apps youtube channel and click the bell icon so you may get uh, notifications of the video certain publishing and you may create your own food things app so thank you for watching this video thank you let's meet on a part two of a video so don't forget to watch the part two and please don't forget to subscribe because of that you may get the immediate notification of our part two okay. so thank you bye